Good morning. Today is Thursday, June 18th, and we are reading um, from the Lutheran Hour Ministries. My name is Dana Meyer, and I'm the fourth grade teacher at Salem Lutheran School. Today we're reading from 1 Thessalonians 4, verse um, 14. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. On the Hollywood Walk of Fame, there is only one actor whose name and character are on the star. That person is Clayton Moore, a.k.a. the Lone Ranger. There are other actors, however, who have also been intimately connected with the characters they have played. One of them was Adam West, the actor who had the title role in the 19 series, 1960s series, Batman. West, who died a few weeks ago at the age of 88, this is from 2017, complained that when the series was canceled, he found it difficult to get serious and steady work. That was because every time an audience looked at him, all they could see was a man in a cowl, a mask, and tights. But this devotion is not about Adam West. It's about the car that he drove in the series, the Batmobile. The Batmobile was a modified 1955 Lincoln Futura concept car, and unlike its driver, it never had any difficulty finding work. Sold to a car customizer in 1965, it was restored and kept in a private collection from where it did personal appearances. In January of 2013, the Batmobile went on the auction block. It was bought by a business, businessman from Phoenix, Arizona by the name of Rick Champagne. Mr. Champagne laid out a total of $4.2 million for the one-of-a-kind vehicle. Did you get that number? That's $4.2 million for a remade, reconstituted vehicle, which was almost 60 years old. What could make it worth that much? The answer to that question is a simple one. It's worth that much because that is the price Mr. Champagne was willing to pay. This takes me to the next question. What are you worth? I mean, take a look at you. You had a soul which was blackened by sin of thought, word, and action. Your relationship with your creator was a pitiful thing. Your life in this world was limited to a few decades of pain, worry, sorrow, and sadness. Your life in the next world was going to be an eternity of misery. Put you on the auction block and you wouldn't expect, expect anybody to offer a plugged nickel for you. Even so, the Heavenly Father in his grace and compassion remembered what he had originally wanted for you, what he wanted you to be again. What made, what to make that happen, he offered the only price that was guaranteed to end the bidding, the only price that could not be beaten. He offered the life of his one and only son. It was a price that was paid. Jesus came into this world and lived a life of sacrifice to win a, our rescue. Every moment of every day was part of that payment, which had been offered. It was a payment that was finished when he carried our sins to Calvary's cross and gave up the ghost. With his glorious third day resurrection from the dead, all could see that the price had been accepted and all who were brought to faith in him would have a new owner, a new home, a new life without hurt or pain. It is a role worth having. Can you pray with me, please? Dear Lord, I, a poor, miserable sinner, give thanks that you, the creator of all, that is, have loved me, rescued me, and restored me. By your grace, may others believe this wonderful truth. In Jesus' name, amen. May you have a wonderful day in the Lord.